Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to be playing another episode of Realm of Thrones version 3.3 today. This is going to be episode number 8 of the series Blackfish's Bastard. I've played a, did a lot of the grindy stuff since last episode. Uh, I've been working on my castle that I, I just got uh, last last episode, the castle of Arnoy. Uh, you know, I've got my toll collector all the way up. A bunch of stuff you know I've been working on and I've actually started out with only getting like 200 uh, a day in settlement tax but I've got it up to 447 so I mean you know castle sucking in Bannerlord but I'm trying to make, get as much as I can out of it because it's getting up just about that time where I'm gonna be starting my own kingdom and I'm gonna have a bunch of parties out and I need ever last uh, you know, penny of income I can to pay for all these parties. Uh, my wife Sally has had me another kid, so I got four kids. I'm pretty happy with my child situation now, so I really don't need her in my party anymore. I don't think I need, uh, you know, more than four kids. I think that's, you know, I got three sons and a daughter. I think that's pretty good. I still got uh, my three caravans, none of them has been destroyed yet. And I got a garrison, you know, a little garrison in Arnoy that I got set up, you know, only, you know, to go to a, a limit of 404 because I don't want to have to, you know, I'm all, I'm all, already, I'm only getting 400 and something from this. I don't want all the money going into this garrison, which it helps that I have a good governor here or else this would probably be 400 already. I have, uh, we go to feast. I got Ciro Pharrell. As my governor in Arnoy, and he has a bunch of good perks that is taking the garrison wages down quite a bit. My uh, clan tier is three. You see, I got a renown of 871. Only look, got a little bit more before I'm uh, up to clan tier four, and I could start my own kingdom officially. You know, that's a big step because once you start your own kingdom, people can can declare war on you, but you could form armies and you could form policies that could help you you know make more money and, and just make you know life a whole lot easier on you so uh that's where we're at so first thing this episode i need to get some parties out there getting built so first thing i'm going to do is see right now if we go to uh parties i could have two more parties out first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and put my wife out there she's a good fighter she's got good steward let's go ahead and get her out there uh, doing her own, you know, doing her own thing. I'm gonna give her just a few little. I'm gonna give her some of these associates. Just, just give her ten, just to get her started. Let her go do her thing. Okay, let's let's go to parties. Let's see what we could. Now that she's got her own party, let's put her wage limit to. Let's put it at. Let's put it at 450. Put it 450 right now. Let's just leave her on neutral right now. Uh, let's see what kind of... Since she's got a quartermaster, she can go up... This, I don't see what her... Her party size can be 85, so that's good. So that's going to jump up once we get to clan tier 4. So she'll probably be have a party, a max party size of over 100 after that jumps. Uh, let's see, she's got a little bit of surgeon stuff, so that's good. So I think she'll make turn out, and then a lot of her stats are going to go up once she's got her own party. So Sally Page, my wife, mother of my four kids, she's, you know, been doing pretty good for me. One of the best wives I actually have had in this game uh, so far. She's going to be out there doing her thing. So there we go. What we need to also do, you know, before we get, we need to go, you know, of course, our renown is going to go up day by day. With these caravans and stuff, I really don't have to do nothing. And this will be at 900 before you know it. But... I need to find at least a couple more companions because I want to put them out there as parties too. Once we get to clan tier four, we're going to create our own kingdom. And I already got my eyes on a clan that don't have a thief, which actually did own the clan, uh, the, the this castle that we have now it was part of Coor. So they have a clan, I think it's clan Adori, that doesn't have a part, I mean, doesn't have a thief. So that's going to be my first stop is to get them to join my kingdom. And that'll be my first, you know, uh, you know, vassal. And uh, then we're going to probably, you know, as soon as we think we're ready, 
go to war. One thing I, I was thinking about, I have four workshops. So, uh, I got four workshops. One of them's in Moros, one of them's in Vestiaf, and one of them's in Azaria. All three of those are in Dothraki territory. So, if the Dothraki declare war on me, which I'm pretty close to them, uh, this could, it could be bad news for me. And plus, my other uh, workshop is in Volantheris, uh, and that's in Volantis, and that's not far away either. So, there's a good chance I could lose these. But uh, hopefully they won't declare war on me. But that's one thing to think about. Uh, you know, with caravans, they're hit or miss. Sometimes they make you money, sometimes they don't. My workshops has been my best mode of uh, income. And my two villages aren't making me much of anything. So hopefully that won't happen. But uh, let's go ahead and head on down to Volantis. Let's let, let's let Sally do her thing. We're going to just start picking up soldiers. You know, as we going down here, it's unfortunate there's nothing over here but but uh, associates, but kind of is what it is right now. And we're going to just take, take what we can, get our stuff built up. And once we become a king, I'm going to be able to hold, you know, I'm going to have policies and perks that's going to allow me to hold, you know, probably up to like 200 or something by myself. So uh, that's going to be the plan. Let's stop off these little towns. Okay, let's see who's up here in Saloris. Hodor. Really none of them people. I'd like to find Jamie Lannister, Brianna Tarth, Sander Clegane. There's several of them that, that'll make really good party leaders for me. We'll look for one of them. Hopefully we can find some of those. Joran. Not really none of them I really care too much for. I see a tournament or two. I'll do them while I'm going, while I'm uh, making my rounds. Once I uh, you know, get my able to form parties, too, my leadership skill will start going up drastically too. Uh, so okay, at least we got us a little right here, Volantis. Looks like we got us a tournament to do. Jack and Hagar, Zarazan, Zoe, and I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just save before we do this tournament. Let's go ahead and just do this tournament. I'm still contemplating what route I want to go because the kingdom that I decide to declare war on needs to be strategic. You know, I, uh, I've been doing quite a few tournaments, so I, my guys got some pretty good. You know, my stats, my, my stats are actually looking pretty decent right now. I mean, not great. Of course, I'm not playing with any other mods, so everything's slow, slow going. Build your stats, so I think I, I, think I got a one-handed over 100. My uh, stewardships, of course, is like around 150 or so, but I, I think I maybe have my bow up to 50. And my spear up to 50. I think my medicine might be 60 something. But, uh, yeah. Now that we're getting to the point when I start my own kingdom, we'll be doing a whole lot more battles. You know, the, if I'm finally getting to the part of the game that's really good. This is where Banner the Lord shines. I'm not, I should have checked how many days I'm in. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many days. You know, into the campaign I am, but uh, I think we're pretty much on schedule to kind of where I usually am, you know, start my own kingdom. So I'm think I'll probably think we're somewhere around you know day 400 or something like that. So if day 400, let's see, so there's what around 80 days. There's around 80 days in a. Uh, in a game year, so is that five times? You know, is that's we're only five years in. I'll tear your limb. So my dudes, he started out at 35. Uh, started out at 30, so he's probably 35 now. And when I was doing a test playthrough, my dude died when he was before he turned 60. I did a not, I didn't do a test playthrough. I did a test. 
just let time kind of do its thing. And I actually got to see my dude die, which is the first time ever, and I got the name of Air. Just testing out before I released this version. Pretty cool. So he, I, did, I had some guys lived in their 70s and stuff, but my dude got sick when he was like 58, and he died. So uh, there's a good chance I only got, you know, 20, 20 more game years to work on my kingdom, and then I'll be passing it on to one of my sons. Maybe my daughter, who knows? Probably my son. Probably, you know, try to stick to the, you know, traditional rap and pass it on to my firstborn son. Okay, we got us a little bit of influence. I do got a perk that gives me influence, so that may come in handy. Uh, five influence from tournaments at some point. Um, but yeah, but I, of course you can't get influence until you're a vassal or a or a king, so let's just go ahead and just get that little bit of money. I actually got my money built up to 731, so I I feel really good about that. I think that I should be able to get one, maybe two vassals to join my kingdom for that money. I won't have any money, but uh if I can get I should fight that. I should fight that 41, but I'm not going to. Let's just see how many people, what's her name, got, uh, my wife's got, she's already got 70 in her party already. So she's doing her thing. They already got 877 right there from doing one tournament. Just roaming the map. Okay, let's see who's here. There's still nobody. I, I hope I don't have to go to... Yeah, I should probably get some of these Giscaris too. Maybe we'll make our rounds. Let's go ahead and save again. Let's go ahead and do this tournament. I'm kind of beyond doing missions. Maybe the only mission I'll do, well, if I could find to break somebody out of prison, it's really not a mission unless you get it from my actual lord, but there's a good, really, if you break people out of prison, that's like the number one way to build your charm, heal, and to... Uh, you know, build relation with a lord. You know, if somebody don't want to join my kingdom, say if I want to go get Jon Snow or something, he don't want to join my kingdom. If I break him out or break one of his people out of prison, uh, that could help me a lot. So uh, that may be something we don't do on the horizon. Just break some people out of prison if we want to. If they're not quite ready to to, uh, to to talk to me about leaving their lord. Just slicing these people down. But yeah, I got my athletes up to 62. He's on our horse right there. Okay, let's go. He's level. That's it. There we go. See, my one hand is up to 107. I'm doing it the old fashioned way. You watched last episode. I like the slow grind. I don't. I don't want to just, you know, play, you know, just rush to top, top tier. I want to feel like my dude's yeah. progressing at a realistic rate. You know what I'm saying? I like to see the feel my person get better over time. I don't. It's like these people that pay for play that want to start at level 100. I don't understand that crap. Like it's that's completely anti. How I, I'm, I've been playing, you know, video games since. The 80s. And I just told you about how old I am just since Atari and, and regular Nintendo, and uh, it's it's always been about the grind. You know what I'm saying? It's I remember playing those Final Fantasy games. You know, where if you wanted that that best piece of armor in the game, you'd have to you'd have to grind out enemies. You know, you'd have to maybe sometimes fight that same enemy hundreds of times. To get that rare drop, you know what I'm saying? And then once you, you know, fought that guy for the 999th time, he finally drops that that super special helmet you can't get nowhere else in the game. And you, there's just some kind of, even though you didn't do nothing but some monotonous crap over and over again, there's something so gratifying about the grind and paying off, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's how I like to play. So that's why I play this game with no mods. I'm sure if I started playing with a bunch of other mods, that make, I'm sure there's great mods that don't ruin the game. It just makes stuff better. 
and maybe I'll be open to exploring them one day, but I don't know what I, you know, you don't know what you're missing if you try it out, you know what I'm saying? Just like before I had my kid, I was like, oh, if I don't ever have a kid, it ain't no big deal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm not a father, I don't know what I'm missing, but now that I got a son, there ain't nothing better in the world than being a father, you know? I would have never knew that until I actually was a father, really. You can hear people talking about it, but, you know, talking about it and, and actually being about it is two different things, you know? So, yeah, let's, get to, let's just scoop these troops up. Let's see where What's-Her-Name's at. Let's see where Sally's at now. Yeah, she's almost got a full party. Man, I need to find... Where's my, my boy Jamie Lannister at? How much money? Am I still getting decent money a day? Now that she's got a party out there? I haven't even been paying attention. Okay, I got 16. I got 16, so there's Lord Varys. So, so far, just having one party out there isn't ruining my life yet. Get some really good troops out here too. There's some unsullied. Yeah, I had some unsullied that last me almost, uh, you know, hundreds of days. Went through hundreds of simulation battles, and they just stayed alive for a long time. I may actually still had, they have had a couple of the original unsullied I had. But the first thing I do did was come come down here to uh, to the Targaryen area and and got some unsold well got some Giscari troops and leveled them up. You know, off the you know you know in the first few days of the game, they lasted me for a long time. So I don't really think I'm gonna get any these uh, these Dothraki though. I'm almost fooled up to where I can be anyway. Still getting 14, 1500 a day, even though I got two parties out. Dang, ain't nobody, man. I'm gonna suck if I have to go. Oh, I need to be. Ch okay, let's check my food situation. Okay, I need to buy some more food too. I'm just. I need to have always keep, even though it's late, you know, mid game, you know, late mid game right now for me. I still need to keep four types of food. First of all, let's get rid of that. Let's see what kind of food they got here. The cheap fish is always good. Some of that grain. Give me some of that butter. So we got. Let's try to. Let's go ahead and get. Give me these grapes too. I hate to do it, but I may have to go all the way to West Rest to get the people I want. I guess anybody would do, but it just seems like I just want I just want my Jamie Lannister, man. He's always came through for me. In the big time, you know. Uh through all these There's Brienne Atarth. Let's go ahead and get her. Let's go ahead and get Brienne. That's what, I'll take her. Now, I'm, I'm not going to be able to find her any kind of gear that I really want to give her. Let's check out her stats first. I'm not going to be able to find her anything really. Uh, okay, she's good. She's not really good at bow. I need to probably give, give her a horse. Her athletics is, is great too, though. I'll probably give her a one-handed shield. I just think that shield just comes in really handy. I could give her these decorated. I, I didn't. I didn't so for some reason, these decorated boots were locked. So I could go ahead and give her them. Go ahead and give her them boots. That way, I ain't gotta buy her a good pair of boots. This narrow sword. That's a decent little sword. Dang, two thousand. Go ahead and give her that narrow sword. 
It looks short though, don't it? Only got a 94. There's really nothing better here. I guess that'll have to work. Give her a spear. How about this widely spear work? Grab that sword. Dang, I'm about to spend some money on this girl. Reinforced cavalry shield will work. I really don't want to give her to this ugly Dothraki crap. Eastern. Yeah, this Eastern stuff just really isn't working for me. I got plenty of horses. Let's just go ahead and give her a let's just give her a, a saddle horse. Let's just give her a uh light saddle for you know I should give her a better ho a horse than that. But yeah, we're gonna find her some better stuff in another town. Let's go ahead and hit, head toward Tahor. See, I already got eight eighty eight just by you know just I think it goes up just oh that wasn't good I only got I only got 666 right there money there he is my man Jamie there you go my boy Jamie I got him go ahead and let's go ahead and give him some stuff let's we got two people to deck out and stuff now. I'll give him this little Turyong. That's a pretty decent little sword. I think I'm going to do, do about the same setup. I mean, I could give him a, a bow and arrow. I want to at least give him as good a spear as what she had. I could give him bows and arrows and it'll help him on, you know, siege battle, but in, in field battle, I just, I like a spear. I'll give him a little bit better shield than I gave Brian just because he's, he's Jamie freaking Lannister. I guess I can always change these guys, you know, equipment. Let's just give them a. Uh, what does that look like? I don't really look like Jamie. Why not? Let's just. I don't want to spend all my money. Dang, that's 11,000 for that? This is 5k for this? Hmm. This stuff is expensive. Making him look like a freaking Roman. Damn, I didn't want to spend all my money here. I'll give Jamie something decent, but I ain't gonna give him... I'll put... Ah, damn. I'll throw him... I'll throw him... It don't look like Jamie Lannister, but I'll throw him that... I ain't spending a lot of money on this. That don't really look like that looks good. I'll just give him some padded bits. He needs some boots though. What's he, what's he got right now? I'm just gonna give him some horseman boots. Yeah, that don't really look like Jamie Lannister, but I could always come back and change it. I ain't gonna spend quite as much money on her. I think I saw something I wanted to give her. Maybe this. Yeah, let's give her that leather armor. Why not? Let's give her the same padded mitts. She's got better boots than Jamie, but she needs a hat now. Is there anything that looks good with this leather? Look good? That actually works. She looks like a Dothraki. Not a Dothraki. She looks like a Kuze, but that's actually pretty good. Gives her a 31 on body armor. Give her like a little, some kind of little hat. Damn, I'm about to spend 20k up in here.
That don't really look good, but oh well, that's her. 18,000. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put another party out there so we can be ready to roll. I'm kind of scared of what my, I mean, I got a lot of money. I just hate seeing negative down here. Let's go ahead and put us another party out there. Jamie Lannister. He's not getting out of my, he can have some Soci recruits. You have a couple archers. You got a military spearmen. <laughs> that means that nine. Let's get him one more. Let's get him one more little guy. Yeah, he's gonna have to start with nothing. There you go. And let's go to parties. Let's, let's set his party wage to. Uh, uh, we'll set him to five hundred. Can't never get exactly where I want to. I guess we'll let him be 504. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go wait right here and do this tournament. We're getting back close to where we need to be. And this is where the dude is anyway that I wanna uh I wanna try to convince. So I'm about to go from a lot of money to no money real fast. We've had a recent influx of some of some really good developers. You know, it's mostly seniors right now uh, to join me making a Realm of Thrones that I'm really excited about. Uh, seem to show a lot of promise and a lot of motivation to do a good job. I'm really thankful for them. I mean, I'm sure y'all know, but this is a lot of work uh, making making a mod of this. You know, total conversion mod trying to completely change this game. The Game of Thrones, it's, I mean, it's unheard of. Especially it's unheard of for one person to be doing it. So, if anybody can say, if they can take this whole scene aspect of scenes off my plate, then uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm extremely excited and grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I got enough stuff messing with. You know, new armors, new weapons, programming, uh, making use of all the XML stuff, making cheap trees. I, mean, I got enough stuff, you know, on my plate as it is. We really need somebody that can do some 3D work for us to help us uh, make some more custom armors and weapons. And I really need somebody, a really experienced coder that's, that really knows C Sharp. Because there's only so much stuff you can do with XMLs. A lot of the stuff, the custom stuff that everybody wants, you know, magic and, you know, stuff like that and dragon mounts and crap like that. It's going to take some ser serious, you know, code to get that stuff to work. So, if you're hearing this and you got that experience, just holler at me and uh, we'll definitely find a place for you. We'll make this mod the best mod out there. Uh, okay, let's see what our... What we looking at? Okay, eight ninety two. We're right on track. We're right on track. Let's just head on over to Norvos. Oh, I just lost money. I don't know why I lost money just then. Oh well, that's what you expect. You got a castle, and you're trying to support three parties and possibly a fourth party uh, how much food we still got plenty of food let's see all this crap I'm still I guess I'm still doing okay on food right now let's go ahead and save only a, a one or two more tournaments and we'll be ready to roll the scalpel I wish I would uh, uh did I give Jamie Lannister a good sword yeah, I think I did. I gave him the tear gun, or however you say it. I gave him that little Viking looking sword. But, uh, it's been nice to drop a scalpel on him. Yes! 
Once I get over to Westeros, I'm gonna buy me a Stark sword or something too. Got the big best of me on that little stab. Not that one though. Okay, hey, what's up? And I'm still rocking this regular basic uh, Riverland soldier gear too. I think once I get to the point that I start my own kingdom, I think I'll be pretty much graduated to the level where I should be able to at least rock my fish. You know, my rock my Tully, you know, shoulder armor you know, instead of the basic one. I don't think I'm quite there rocking my dad's armor. Maybe I'll wait for him to die and become the new black fish. Because he's an old man. He usually don't live that much. He might actually already be dead. I should check it out. Let's, let's, let's see. Okay, 496. One, or, one more tournament or just a couple more days walking will be good. Let's just see a blackfish. See if my dad's even still alive. Go to clans. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Totally, did I do it? Totally blackfish? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, he's actually still alive, but he... Oh, he's only 55. But maybe he'll live a little bit longer. I don't know. At some point, I want to rock the Blackfish armor. Just a darker version of what I got now. Um, but I think I've, once I become king, I think, I, I think I've think i made myself a noble. And I should be able to rock my fish on my chest, even though I'm not a Tully. I think I've earned my... Earned the ability to... You know, rock a fish on my on my chest, even if it's my own fish and not the totally fish. What's Jamie Lance running around with thirty nine people? Sally Page is out there at seventy six. Hey, let's go. Let's just make a little quick run down. Quick run through and see how our villages are doing. Man, this little village right here gives good stuff. Oh, that just put me over the limit. Who do I want to get rid of? That looks like some good stuff. I guess it'll be this guy. I want to keep this guy. Get rid of, keep the type of Valentine Bowman. Guess I'll get rid of this. Hey, we're. We're maxed out right now. Let's drop by a little castle. How much money is it giving me? Okay, it's giving me 449. My villages still ain't giving me hardly nothing. Let's just see what's going on with this castle. Okay, I only got 30 troops in here. Felt like I have more troops. Uh, Manage castle. Yeah, militia grounds is about to be full. Then it'll start on gardens. Then it'll start on fairgrounds. Prosperity still going up. My food's going up. Okay. okay, somebody just leveled up. Okay, my steward went up to 150. Let's check it out. Okay, aid corpse. Do not pay wages for wounded soldiers. Increase village hearth growth weight by 20%. That's very good. Trying to get those villages profitable. Uh, relocation influence gain from donated troops are increased by 25%. Project boosting is 20% more effective. I think a corpse is the way to go there. Has anybody else leveled up anything? Okay, Tyrion's actually got a, a perk. And, man, his stewardship's off the chain. But he's trading, so I need to put him a point in trade right now since he's running 
Samwell too. He needs a he's trading, he needs a point to trade. Wow, oh, those guys. I thought it was supposed to give you a note. Okay, we're up to clan tier four. So let's just check out to see the it didn't change my party size yet. I thought it was supposed to. Okay, there it is. Just took a second. Now I could hold 157 as it is. So, uh, there you go. That's 157. Let's see how much it took up for other people. Okay. Jamie Lannister could hold a 147, which is excellent. I thought Sally Page would have went up higher than that. She didn't, but uh, I could create a new party. Brienne, I don't know if I'm ready for these wages, but there you go, Brienne. Here's your, uh, where's those? Here's your 10 associate recruits. Go do your thing. Okay, we're going to have, okay, we got three, three battle parties out there now. Uh, there's Nero. Okay, this is my man right here. This is him. This is the guy I want to come to. I want to chase him down. I want to see if he'll join my kingdom, but we got to create a kingdom first. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a save. Just in case some crazy stuff happens. Let's just call this thing Free Kingdom. And let's go ahead and... Uh, oh man, I, I have to go. I forgot. You can't create a kingdom right here. You have to go to your actual... I'm going to have to find him. Hopefully he just stays over here somewhere. But for me to create a kingdom, I have to go in here and talk to my... You know, talk to my dude. Let's visit the Lord's Hall. This is the first time I've been actually in my keep. See where... Let's see where my man's at. See where Sirio Pharrell's at. He's at a good job over here governing this place. Making it as profitable as... Piece of crap castle could be. Must be upstairs chilling. Pretty nice little keep. I'm still rocking my original. Here he is. Your lordship, I'm at your command. It's time for me to take a momentous step. It's time to proclaim a new kingdom. I want to use the language and laws of my homelands, the riverlands, uh, very well. What should we name it? Okay, what was she? What would she name? What should we name our kingdom? We already got the Riverlands. Um, I don't really know what, what would be a good name. How about we call it Black River? Kingdom Black River. So shall it be. Okay, like, does it not let you pick? Does it not let you pick your, your, uh, perks anymore? Aw, oh, man. This sucks. It don't let you perk, it don't let you pick your perks no more. Like, it used to let you pick four perks to start your kingdom with. And uh, let's go ahead and save as. Uh, we'll go back and get back on our Logan save. It don't let you pick your perk points, which is really sucks. Because that some of those are off the chain. Uh, see if we can find that Nero Adoy, uh, uh, Dory. Where was he at? Maybe he went back to Cahor. See if he's here. Hopefully he's here. Let's just see where he went. Nero, uh, his name, his name was, uh, Adore. His clan was Adori. Last seen near Saganola. Saga, uh, Sagalina. Might as well try to buy some food while we're here. Getting kind of low. Sell that scalpel. Don't need that scalpel no more.
ones. Give me, give me a bunch of this cheap. I don't want to have to be worried about that for a little while. Saganola, where was that? It. Altu's party. This video is getting kind of long, man. I don't even know if we're going to get to any major kingdom. I guess we've made some major kingdom decisions. We just didn't make any, make any major battle decisions. So We might have to maybe we'll end this video after we get this guy. You know, there's a lot of Where did this guy go? Are they, are Skor at war with anybody? They're at war with Volantis, oh god. I wonder if, oh here he is, okay here he is. I, I thought he was maybe gone. They're at war with Volantis. And what we're going to do is we're going to, alright, we, we've reached the guy. We'll go ahead and leave and let's go ahead and save. Let's see if we can convince this guy to join our kingdom sandwich is going to cost us. Okay, guys, we just, we had to give them a little bit of extra money to boost, uh, you know, I had to give them like 20, almost 30,000 to get him in a position uh, to where, you know, it was, I was able to pass a speech check, but I got him to pass a speech check finally. So let's see what this grand total amount he's going to, whoa, did not expect that. Woo. Okay, so this guy he was end up, was going to end up cost me five hundred k. I really don't want to pay this guy, but at this point, I got to. I mean, this is okay. Ooh, that was a lot. I would have pit. I mean. Paying that amount of money to Jon Snow or somebody I really like, uh, I, I can see that. But dude, this guy, whoo, that was painful. We down to two hundred. But my charm, I got a bunch of charm. Let's see what I can at least get for it. In bloom increases any relationship gain with the opposite gender by twenty percent. Two percent chance to, uh, per day to increase relations with a random notable of the opposite sex. Young and respectable increases your relationship game with the same gender by 20%. The bottom line is you're dealing with more men in this game. So that's a no-brainer right there for me. Let's see what I'm going to do with this other perk point. Uh, let's see. Maybe something in engineering. Uh, my bow and pole arm is going to need some work. I think for right now it's got to be... I think my medicine's good for now. Let's go ahead and put it in. Leadership's got to. I guess I'll go ahead and put it in. Bow for right now. Let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, let's just check out. Let's go to our kingdom now. Here's our clans now. We got a clan. Clan tier 3. He has a vassal. A noble. A vassal. So at least it's two fighting parties. If we was to call an army... We got Nero and Al too, so at least we do got two more parties. So maybe it was worth 500k, but uh, I think this is a good place to, to call it quits. I mean, we just spent all our money, but we're just a little bit of preparation preparation away from going to war with somebody and making our next move. Cause you know, this guy right here, he's got a big ego. He's gonna need a home of his own. So we got to get this man a castle. So, but that's all we're going to do in this episode. Thank you guys for watching. 
the key uh, stay tuned so because uh, there'll be a new episode coming very soon till next time